I'm Tom Tuscan, principal here at Denfeld High School. I'm so excited to welcome you to Denfeld High School's 2021 Honors Night program. On stage with me is our 2021 Honors Court. The students you see before you represent the top 10% academically of our senior class of 2021. Their academic standing has been solidified over a four year period through hard work, dedication, and perseverance surrounding a rigorous course of study. You may be seated. Tonight, we welcome back our 2020 Honors Court King and Queen, Jack McCormick and Emma Natale, as they crown the 2021 Honors Night King and Queen as voted upon by the entire senior class. Without further ado, Denzel's 2021 Honor King is Joe Rudd. And the 2021 Honors Queen is Phoenix Ocean. Congratulations again to Joe Rudd and Phoenix Ocean. As Honors Court King and Queen, your first responsibility is the awarding of Honor Ds. Students are awarded an Honor D based on stellar academic achievement, citizenship, and service to Denfeld High School. This year's Honor D recipients have also shown an enormous amount of perseverance and grit. At this time, I would like to ask Brooke McIver and Allison Ehlers to come forward to read the names of the 12th grade Honor D recipients. We would like to start by inviting the Honor Court to come forward to receive their Honor D. Then we will read the names of the seniors in attendance who have also earned an Honor D. As we announce names, please hold your applause until all Honor D recipients have received their award. The following seniors have raised their standards beyond expectation and will now receive their Honor D. Natalie Boheim. Marissa Whitkey. Riley Curtis. Kylie LeMay, Christine Erickson, Samantha Snyder, Cade Shea, Jacob Borham, Lillian Glass, Leah Halverson, Lindsay Johnson, Kofi Wayne, Samantha Windish, Joseph McCormick, Mary Johnson, Elena Panfield, Joseph Francisco, Riley Clark, Claire Barlas, 
Hannah Thompson, and Isaac Mink, and our King and Queen, Joe and Dina. Would our honor D recipients please come to the stage to receive your honor D. Dalen Arsenal. Isabel Beek. Elisa Bowles. Talia Brooks. Nathaniel Burke, Keegan Chasty, Nevaeh Davis, Jacob Day, Xavier Decker, Bailey Dion, Matthew Dosen, Aiden Earhart, Hunter Flynn, Ava Gerard, Carmen Gordon, Madison Hinderman, Hayden Hollande, Austin Hudima, Ren Jarvis, Jordan Kovac, Grace Crump, Sydney Larson, Alexis Lewinsky, Parker Moss, Doyle Martin, Noah McGrew, Ellie McCray, Jade Peterson, Jacob Plunkett, Lucas Powell, Abigail Roberts, Kiana Robinson, Connor Russell, Cora Samuelson, Control Sailor, Kayla Scourge, John Skull, Jalen Smith, Ariana St. Germain, Elizabeth Stenstrom, Monty Teske, Michael Tester, Joshua Tran, Keely Warnagora, Seth Wayne, Noah Westerberg, and I, Burke McIver, and Allison Allers. I would now like to introduce Haven Anderson, who will perform a piano solo of Liebestam, Nocturne No. 3 in E-flat major.
Thanks again, Haven. Next, it is my pleasure to recognize three seniors who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average throughout their high school careers. With the following students, please come forward. Keegan Chasty, who is unable to be here tonight. Joseph Francisco and Joseph Rudd. Let's give them another round of applause, please. <laughs> At this time, we'd like to begin the scholarship portion of our program. We are here to celebrate this wonderful group of young people, as well as their generosity of our community and supporting our seniors as they further their education beyond high school. We would love to mention every accomplishment and every scholarship these students have to their credit. However, if we did, we all would be here well past the time you can comfortably sit in these historic seats. We will focus primarily on scholarships available solely to Denfeld students due to the generosity of our alumni and friends of Denfeld. These seniors have also earned many scholarships through our local scholarship foundations and from the colleges and universities they will be attending in the fall. We have included a listing of these in your program. In addition, near the end of the scholarship portion of the program, we will have a slideshow presentation that highlights the scholarship students have made us aware of as well. Our counselors will now introduce a number of scholarships. It is my pleasure to invite Jerry Sari to announce the first several scholarships. Hello everybody. The first award presented this evening is the Alice Tui Tui Award. This thousand dollar college freshman scholarship recognizes academic excellence in each of the Duluth High Schools. Though this one scholarship is awarded in each high school, the award is meant to honor all scholars and to inspire all students to higher levels of achievement. It is awarded to the high school senior with the highest cumulative grade point average, the most grade points, and very strong ACT or SAT scores. The winner of the Alice Tui Tui Award scholarship this year is a person who has worked extremely hard throughout high school to earn this honor. I fully expect that this young man will continue to excel next year as he begins his college career at George Washington University, where he plans to major in international business. At this time, we take great pleasure in presenting the Alice Tui Tui Award for academic excellence to Keegan Chasty. Unfortunately, Keegan is unable to be with us tonight. Along with the check for $1,000, Keegan's name will be inscribed on a permanent plaque which remains in the guidance office. Back in 1944, there was a graduate sitting right here at Denville wondering where life's journey would take him. It likely came as no surprise that Mike Calio would find himself later that year fighting for his country in a foreign land 4,300 miles away. While serving in World War II at the age of 18, the same age as many of you here tonight, Mike Calio went above and beyond the call of duty to lead his men on an attack against enemy forces in Germany that earned him the Medal of Honor, the highest award for valor. Of the over 50 million men and women who served in our country in combat, only 3,520 have earned this honor, and only 67 are still alive today. Sadly, Mike passed away in 2011 at the age of 86. He was one of the last Medal of Honor recipients in Minnesota. The Lafayette family from Green Bay, Wisconsin, were some of the many people that Mike touched with his dedication to those around him and to his country. The endowment sponsor for the scholarship is a couple from Wisconsin who had the chance to meet Mike and quickly realized that they met a real role model and hero. The Brian Lafayette Scholarship Foundation, with Guy and Karen Smith as the sponsors, are proud to award the Mike Carroll Leo Scholarship of Honor. The Brian Lafayette Scholarship Foundation has been awarding scholarships since 1992 when 15-year-old Brian died in a swimming accident. Brian, too, climbed on going to college with his inspiration in life being the journey is the reward. In Mike's life, he also made his journey the reward through his family, his friends, his school, his accomplishments along the way. The hope is that Mike called Leo's name, what he did, and what he stands for, and what's required for the price of freedom is communicated clearly to generations through this scholarship. The recipient of the Mike Caldeo Scholarship of Honor is chosen for his or her commitment to community and country and for their willingness to take part in public service 
whether it is in the military or another noble career. I am pleased to announce the 2021 Michael Leo Scholarship of Honor recipient, Madison Hinderman. Madison, will you please join me on stage? Madison will be studying nursing with American Sign Language at the College of St. Scholastica. On behalf of the Brian Lockwood Scholarship Foundation and Guy and Karen Smith, we are proud to present you with the Mike Cal Leo Scholarship of Honor. But this scholarship is more than just about the money. It is also about carrying a legacy that Mike began over 75 years ago. As a special reminder of your award today, we'd also like to present you with a specially created Scholarship of Honor medal that you can take with you always. With Mike Cal Leo in mind, the inscription on the back reads, May your service to your community and your commitment to your country always be a reflection of your high standards and an inspiration to those who follow in your footsteps. Presented in honor of Medal of Honor recipient, Sergeant Mike Collio of Denver High School 2021. Always remember, the journey is the reward. We know that Mike's journey continues here today with your help. Thank you and congratulations, Madison. Scholarship is to be awarded to one male and one female student demonstrating good character and outstanding athletic and academic accomplishments. Students receiving the scholarship plan to attend an accredited college or university. Neither financial need nor the receipt, <coughs> receipt of other awards or financial assistance should be considered in awarding the scholarship. It is my pleasure to announce that the Jordan Scholarship will be awarded this year to two very deserving seniors. Both students being recognized have not only challenged themselves academically throughout high school, but they have also demonstrated their athletic abilities in the pool. I am very proud to announce that this year's recipients of the Jumanji Scholarship are Lindsey Johnson and Joseph Rudd. Coincidentally, <laughs> both Lindsey and Joseph planned and the University of St. Thomas, where they are set to major in biology and swim for the Tommies. Congratulations to both of you. <laughs> Next, we have the Tessier Waltman Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Diane Tessier and Chris Waltman, student athletes who graduated from Denville in 1971. Diane and Chris were killed in a car accident at the age of 19 while returning from a softball tournament. The annual scholarship is a one-time award of $500 given to two graduating female um, students who are enrolling in an institution of higher learning after high school. They must have a minimum GPA of 2.5, they must have lettered in two varsity sports, be enrolled in other school or community activities, and be recommended by staff. I am happy to announce that the 2021 Tessier Waltman Scholarships have been awarded to Elisa Bowles and Mary E. Johnson. of Wisconsin Eau Claire in the fall. She hasn't quite decided on her major yet, but we know she will do great things. Mary will be going to Elmhurst, El Elmhurst University where she will study biology and continue her soccer career. Congratulations to you both. <laughs> now it's my pleasure to introduce Leah Hamm who will be announcing the next several scholarships. the recipient of the Central High School Preservation Committee Scholarship. The Central High School Preservation Committee was founded with the mission of instilling a common vision of respect for the value of public education. It is the committee's hope to encourage students to move into the future by connecting with the past. The committee established a scholarship for a graduating senior who has demonstrated good character and has been active in school as well as the community. The excellent pool of candidates for this scholarship made it difficult for the committee to choose only one recipient. It is my pleasure to present the Central High School Preservation Committee Scholarship to a very deserving student, Jade Peterson. Jade, will you please join me on stage?
Jade's future plans include attending the College of St. Scholastica, where she plans to major in physical therapy. Congratulations, Jade. Greg Irons was a lifelong Duluth resident and a graduate of Duluth East and UMD. He was a science teacher with the Duluth Public Schools, as well as a minority tutor and athletic coach. Greg died in a hunting accident in the fall of 1989. To honor him, Greg's family established a scholarship in his name to be awarded to a student who has been able to attain their personal goals through self-motivation and perseverance. This year, Denfeld's Greg Irons Scholarship recipient is Tawny Plenty Horse. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tawny is unable to be here tonight to receive this scholarship in person. Tawny plans to attend Hamlin University in the fall and will major in political science and legal studies. Congratulations, Tommy. The Paul Antonich Scholarship was established in 1997 by Larry and Mary Antonich of Two Harbors in memory of their 17-year-old son who died tragically in August of 1996. Paul was a runner for Duluth Central's cross-country and track teams and was about to begin his senior year at Central when he was killed. The fund honors Paul's spirit by providing a scholarship to a senior boy on the track or cross country team who encourages others, demonstrates dedication and good citizenship, and promotes team unity. The candidate must also show respect and dignity towards others as Paul did. The recipient of this scholarship epitomizes all that Paul Antonich stood for. Would Isaac Fink please come forward to receive this award? <laughs> Isaac plans to attend Augustana University where he will continue his running career while earning his degree in biology. Congratulations Isaac and good luck next year. The Music Boosters Scholarship was created to assist students with their post-secondary education. It is specifically for students enrolled in the Denfeld Music Program. Our 2021 Denfeld Music Boosters Scholarship recipient decided to take choir her freshman year for her fine arts credit. It was this choice that made her realize how much she loved to sing and she found herself auditioning for both concert choir and solid gold in 10th grade. She made both choirs and has enjoyed participating in them throughout the rest of her high school career. This year's Denfeld Music Boosters Scholarship winner is Kiana Robeson. Kiana will be attending Pacific Lutheran University this fall, where she plans to major in nursing. Congratulations, Kiana. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Jessica Anderson, who will be announcing the next several scholarships. Next, we have the Greater Denville Memorial Scholarships. This fund was established in 1972 by friends and fellow faculty members of Ms. Lenore Snodgrass, a Denville English teacher. The foundation was formed to honor Ms. Snodgrass and, individual, and individuals like her who have given so much of themselves to Denville High School. The first Greater Denville Award was awarded in 1974 in the amount of $150. The fund has grown substantially over the years as a result of gifts from various individuals and graduating classes, as well as memorials in honor of Denfeld faculty and students. We will present the memorial scholarships first, and then the four scholarships that are chosen from the Greater Denfeld Foundation itself. 
We are delighted to report that generous donations have made it possible for us to award a total of 16 scholarships of varying amounts tonight. Here to help present these awards is the president of the Greater Denfeld Foundation, Jerry Zanko. Jerry is a 1966 graduate of Denfeld High School and is thrilled to be with, here with us tonight. Jerry, will you please come up to the stage and help us present these awards? Our first Greater Denfeld Scholarship was established in honor of Richard Jukich. He was an English teacher at Denfeld for 27 years before retiring in 1992. He had a passion for English and had a unique bond with his students. Mr. Jukic was a captivating storyteller with a short memory and a polite sense of humor, often enriching his students and grandchildren with stories. He would be proud to see the accomplishments of the class of 2021. In his memory and for his love of learning and hunter pride, his family established a scholarship. The characteristics that Mr. Jukic admired in his students were strong character, persistent work ethic, citizenship, and of course, a passion and love for learning. This year's recipient certainly exemplifies those characteristics. Would Abigail Roberts please come forward and be recognized? <laughs> Abigail will be attending the University of Minnesota Duluth, majoring in education. Congratulations and best wishes, Abigail. It is now our pleasure to award the Krieger Ackerman Scholarship. Kelly Krieger was a 1994 graduate of Denfeld High School who excelled in everything she set out to accomplish. She earned a perfect 4.0 academic record during her four years at Denfeld and was co-captain of the volleyball team, member of Denfeld's band, choir, solid gold, and National Honor Society. She graduated magna cum laude from the University of St. Thomas in 1998. On September 28, 2002, she married Scott A. Ackerman and moved to Edina, Minnesota, where she worked as an event coordinator for the Minnesota Association of Realtors. Kelly died in 2004 at the age of 27 after complications from a brief illness. Kelly and her sister Julia, class of 1989, were third generation dental graduates. Her father, Russell, class of 1965, and her grandmother, Dorothy Dahl Krieger, class of 1934, have always taken great pride in the Denfeld traditions. Denfeld and education in general is very close to the heart of the Krieger family. Through the generosity of countless friends, co-workers, and family, this scholarship has been established in honor of her memory. It is my extreme pleasure to present the Krieger Ackerman Scholarship to Lillian Glass. Lillian will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the fall, where she plans on majoring in biology. Congratulations, Lillian. We can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Our next scholarship is the G. Del Dato Scholarship Award. Mr. Dato earned a teaching degree from the Duluth State Teachers College and began his teaching career as a history teacher here at Denfeld. He served as Denfeld's principal from 1948 until 1963, after which he became director of Duluth Secondary Schools. Beyond the scholarship endowment that he left, and perhaps more importantly, he left a legacy of respect. As a teacher and principal, he taught Denfeld students to respect themselves, each other, this building, and all the fine Denfeld traditions that have developed here over the years. Students receiving the award should be a proud and honored to carry Mr. Dato's legacy of generosity and respect. Our recipients have demonstrated both generosity of spirit and have conducted themselves in a respectful manner, both in and out of school. They have both been very active in high school. Leah Halverson and Kate Shea, will you please join me at the podium? Leah plans to attend the University of Wisconsin in the fall and major in global health. Kate plans on attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and major in engineering. Congratulations to both of you. The Darren Cannon Memorial Scholarship 
was started with the idea of promoting peace among peers in memory of Darren John Cannon, who died February 28, 1987. Darren, a ninth grader at Morgan Park Junior High School, lost his life in a fight that took place during an argument after school one day. Darren had a weak artery in the back of his neck, and one unfortunate punch killed him instantly. Darren's life was cut short. His family, friends, and classmates were shocked that this could happen to such a wonderful young man. The hope is that this scholarship will be a reminder to all that violence is never the answer to conflicts and to take a stand and try to defuse any situation in which a conflict could develop. I am very pleased to announce that this year's Darren Cannon Memorial Scholarship goes to Jordan Kovac. Jordan, you can come forward. Jordan's future plans include majoring in social work at the University of Wisconsin Superior. Congratulations, Jordan. <laughs> the Linda Soderstrom Service Award was established in 1999 by family members, staff members, and friends in memory of Linda Soderstrom, a loved and respected teacher who helped start Dear Denfeld's Peer Helper Mediation Programs in 1988. She was a teacher and mentor to hundreds of Denfeld students, helping to instill in them a sense of caring and personal responsibility to their school and to a larger community. I am confident that Mrs. Soderstrom would be very pleased with this year's choice. I am very pleased to present the annual Linda Soderstrom, Sco Linda Soderstrom Scholarship to Tani Plenty Horse. As mentioned earlier, Tanya is unable to be here tonight, but we know she is thrilled to have earned the scholarship. It is now my pleasure to invite Assistant Principal Marcia Nelson to introduce the remaining Greater Death Health Scholarships. It is very exciting to announce that the following scholarships are new this year from the Greater Death Health Foundation. The first scholarship is the Mark Overland Performing Arts Award. This award is for a student who excels in and has been positively influenced by their participation in music or performing arts. This year's recipient will be attending the University of Wisconsin Superior in the fall to pursue an elementary education degree. She was a strong candidate for the Mark Overland Performing Arts Award, and she's been very involved in theater and performing arts throughout the years. This year's award goes to Riley Clark. <laughs> Riley, come forward to the Congratulations. The STEM award is given to a student who demonstrates a strong aptitude for science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. I am pleased to announce Elena Panfel is this year's recipient of the STEM award. Elena, will you please come up and accept your award? Elena's plans for the fall are to attend Gustavus Adolphus College and major in either biochemistry or mathematics. The BEA award is given to a student who will be pursuing a business, economics, or accounting degree. This year's BEA award goes to Samantha Snyder. Samantha, come forward and accept your award. Samantha's plans for the fall are to attend the University of Minnesota, Duluth. Congratulations. The Health Science Award is given to an outstanding student who will be pursuing a degree in a health-related field. The student who has been chosen for this award is Ariana St. Germain. Ariana's plans 
for the fall are to attend Augsburg University and major in biology with a focus on pre-med. The Trades Award is given to a student who is pursuing a degree in, but not limited to, a building, industrial, or mechanical related trade career. The student chosen for this award is Matthew Dosen. Matthew, come up and accept your award. Matthew plans to attend Lake Superior College this fall for their commercial and residential wiring program. Congratulations. <laughs> the America Mertz Mortarelli Scholarship is another new award from the Greater Denfeld Foundation this year. This award is given to a male or female athlete who has participated in four years of high school athletics and is of good academic standing. The recipient must attend a four-year college or university. I would like to tell you a little about my personal connection to Merce Mortarelli and the great honor it is for me to give this scholarship tonight. My dad grew up in Superior, Wisconsin. In his family, no one went to college. No one talked about college. College was not on the radar for my dad or his sisters growing up in the 50s in Superior. However, my dad was very tall at six foot eight and was recruited to play basketball in high school at Superior East High School. He was good, and during his senior year in high school, UW-Superior coaches Carl Bergamini and Bert Mortarelli offered him a scholarship to continue to play ball in college. He took it, mostly because he wanted to keep playing basketball. It turned out to be so much more for him. When he started, he didn't know how to study, and he didn't really know he was smart. After his first not-so-hot semester, Bergamini and Mortarelli, or Vermicelli and Mastacholi, as I called them throughout my childhood, sat him down and said, don't mess this up. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Education is how you change your life. With their help, he did figure it out, and he graduated from college and became a high school science teacher and a coach. A few years later, he was chosen to further his education through a National Defense Education Act scholarship, which was a grant intended to improve science research and education in the United States as a response to the Russian launch of Sputnik. My dad studied for his doctorate degree in Colorado through this grant and was a college professor for over 30 years. He built many relationships and influenced many young lives much as his mentors did for him at UWS. My dad's coaches, Carl Bergamini and Mertz Mortarelli, who was also the athletic director, shaped my dad into a scholar, an athlete, and a strong, positive leader driven by integrity and honor. These men helped my, make my dad the man he became, and in turn, they had a tremendous influence on my own life. I was blessed to grow up in a family that valued education beyond just about anything else, and I've been an educator my whole life. I am who I am, largely because of the influence of Mertz Mortarelli. And I am honored to give this award to an amazing young man here at Denfeld, who will also continue the legacy of Mertz Mortarelli. This young man is smart, capable, determined, kind, and acts with generosity and integrity. Mertz Mortarelli would be proud and impressed. It truly means a great deal to me to present this scholarship to Joseph Francisco. <laughs> Joseph's plans for the fall 
Scholar to attend the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. He's currently undecided on his major, but plans to study something in the STEM field. Congratulations, Joe. And now on to the Greater Denfeld Foundation Scholarships. The primary criterion for the Greater Denfeld Foundation Scholarships is that the students exemplify a true Denfeld spirit. The 1949 Denfeld Yearbook describes the Denfeld spirit as follows. The person with the Denfeld spirit does everything they can to improve the standing and build up the good name of the school. They avoid behavior wherever they are, which will harm or bring discredit or criticism to the Denfeld name. It is with pleasure that I present four Greater Denfeld Scholarships to recipients who certainly fit this description. Their collective contributions to our school and community have left a positive and permanent mark, and we are the better for it. This year's Greater Denfeld Scholarship recipients are Claire Barless, Joseph McCormick, Phoenix Ocean, and Keegan Chasty, who's unable to be here tonight. Please come forward. Claire will attend Bates College, where she will continue her soccer career while majoring in mathematics or engineering. Joseph has not yet decided on a major or which college he will attend, but I love the world of possibilities that undecided means for him. I hope you try lots of new things and land on one that combines success with your past, uh, passion and dedication. 